guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down this awesome George Harrison song. I hope you guys dig it. Also, I appreciate you supporting Marty Music, you know, sharing the videos and all that. And clicking that bell button by subscribe means the world to me. Thank you so much. All right, let's learn the tune. All right, we're going to start with the capo on the second fret, and we're going to do a little groove of E minor. To A major and the rhythm down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up is when you change to the A. Next part is uh, going back between D and B minor. So you have a bar chord there with that B minor. Whole step up from the capo, A minor, looking shape, index fingers barred across, like that. So you have D to B minor. Now it's gonna do something a little bit trickier. So you have D to B minor. Then you have one more D. D, D, D. D sharp diminished. B7, which they're almost the same. Then back to the E minor to A. So let me show you that. D, and then D diminished what I'm doing. I mean, D sharp diminished. I'm taking my index finger and targeting the first fret up from the capo on that D string. So I got D chord. Just like that. And then you can think of it this way, middle finger is on, uh, on the B string second fret. And then ring finger is on the third of the G. So you can almost, I mean, it's the exact same fingering as a D chord. See that? So. No new, you just have to be able to take that shape off and put it there and then grab the pinky on the second fret high E. So look at this. Not bad, huh? Then simply for the B7, which is next, middle finger comes off and just grabs second fret up on that A string. back into the main thing. Okay, so let's go to the D now. Here we go. D to B minor. Again, D to B minor. Now real slow. D, diminish, B7, E minor. And all that again. Go one more time, a little quicker. Here we go. I know you. D D D E minor. Here we go. D D D D sharp diminished B seven E minor. Then you get uh, this new part and then it modulates, which means it's the same progression, just everything's been moved up a whole step. Um, so we've got a D chord now, eventually. Then it becomes D7. So you just make that like upside down, index on the first of the B. Then a, what we're thinking of relative to the capo, a B major which is barred across the second fret, and then ring fingers on two, three, four up from the capo across D, G, B. Then E major. So that new section's climbing up, it gets to the E major chord, and then eventually does that same diminished move but it's up because we've moved the key up. So we can call it 
I mean, uh, you know, we can call it F diminished. Yeah. It has multiple names, so I'm just looking at that first note I'm playing. Just think the exact same thing up a whole step. Even that move works. So you have E. Exact same move, even the open B string works in there. Um, then you'd have F sharp minor to B. The exact same thing, it's been moved up a whole step. So let's go over that bridge one more time. So D. D7. B. Now just one E. Now we're in F sharp to B. And now we have to go through the same progression, but now everything's up a whole step. So the next section is now E major to C sharp minor. So it's just like B minor, up a whole step. So one, two, three, four up from the capo, A minor, bar to cross, fourth fret there. So E to C sharp minor, E to C sharp minor, and then we're gonna do that other new move. See that? Then you got it. Go through that one more time. Here we go. sharp minor, E major, C sharp minor, E major, the diminished, then the dominant, F sharp minor. Alright, thanks again you guys, really appreciate your support. You can leave your requests in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe to Marty Music. Thanks again. We'll see you later.